Okay guys, we're not far from home. We're just at Twin Lakes in Bronxville, New York. Um, I've come here I think twice this year, like since the spring, and I think I've been skunked both times. Um, but I do want to just say, while we're walking down here, um, the videos have dropped off a little bit and the fishing has dropped off a little bit. And I don't want to say I'm like bored with the fishing, but I definitely have felt the need to kind of just step back a little. Um, I don't know what it is. I mean, we kind of, maybe it's that we had kind of our climax with the, uh, the PB a couple weeks ago, not even a couple weeks ago. Um, maybe it's some anxiety about going back to work. I don't know what it is, but I've just felt like I, I need to take a little step back lately. Um, another thing it might be is, you know, as much as I would love hundreds of thousands of subscribers and, you know, a, a full-time YouTube career, uh, really, I think once that it becomes a job, it becomes stressful once it becomes this obligation like you have to make videos you have to catch fish you have to make it exciting um, then it's not so fun anymore and uh, maybe I'm maybe there's a little bit of that involved too but um, <laughs> what a bummer what a bummer of a way to start a video also getting lost here in the woods um, but uh, we'll We'll just try to enjoy this. <laughs> oh boy. Let's, 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 let's catch some fish. Twin Lakes is a little bit like Tibbetts Brook for me. I kind of uh, tend to uh, spite fish it. I don't really like it. I've never had incredible success here. There are big fish here. We've seen a dead like three or four pound bass here. But as far as the ones that live and bite, I've only caught, you know, maybe a little over a pound would be my best here. I brought all light tackle today, kind of finesse my two spinning rods. One is my ultralight, one is my medium. The ultralight has six pound test, the medium has eight pound test. All right, Leo Shang recommended it's the Thomas EP series. Uh, it is one eighth ounce nickel gold. Thomas EP series inline spinner. With this muddy water, with this wind, I think some flash could serve us well today. So I'm gonna put it on the ultralight and uh, see if we can get some attention. fish something oh it's a crappie okay pull a little crappie out New York State has a size limit and this one does not meet it beautiful little fish though it's always fun for me to catch a crappie just because uh, I don't catch them very often Sometimes I call them crappie, sometimes I call them crappy, but you know what? They're all right by me. Okay, fish on. Thomas EP series. That's actually the first fish I've ever caught on the world famous Thomas EP series. Leo Shang, who I mentioned before, of course, is extreme Philly fishing. Coincidentally, you know, known as EPF and he promotes not sponsored by but promotes the EP series that was also the first crappie I ever caught here at Twin Lakes crappy who's in charge of naming fish anyway ooh muskrat muskrat did you guys see that I'll try to zoom in on it in post yeah, this, I've, I've known that this place is infested with muskrats. 
you guys ever watch on YouTube Joseph Carter the mink man you can watch him uh, take trained mink uh, and use them to eradicate muskrats from places very similar to this except I think he's based out of Utah or something all right, I'm just gonna take a few casts in this open area here. Um, on my way to the dam, there's a lot of this crap though. Um, reminds me of, again, Tibbetts Brook, but uh, I have an open area here. I think it's very shallow, so uh, if we catch anything, if we catch any bass especially, I'm sure they're gonna be pretty small, but might as well check it out. Nope. So a little sunfish, go for it. Might be all we can get over here, but it's okay. All species are welcome. All right, one more cast here. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Oh no. Oh. Damn it. Not the EP. Not the EP. What can I do, what can I do, what can I do? I think we just lost the EP, guys. I did it. Oh, I did it. Yes. I got it. Holy <laughs> So lucky that the perfect branch was right there. All right, getting out of here. This water stinks. Okay, I'm going to try not to be freaked out by what appears to be a noose in the woods, but what I think it really is, is a fun little uh, foot swing. Yeah, let's just say it's a foot swing. Yikes. I'm getting this powerful olfactory nostalgia, the scent of the end of summer. It's like the plants, um, they're still living, but they're thinking about dying. Thinking about, you know, leaves are thinking about falling. And of course I associate it with the, the upcoming season. Which, you know what, fall is a really beautiful season, but uh, it's a lot of uh, adjustments that uh, will need to be made. It's just part of the, the cycle. Circle of life. Nazavenya. All right, so there was, I was gonna fish at the dam, but there was a guy fishing like pretty much right where I wanted to be. I thought it was the only one here, but anyway. So we're gonna go down to the uh, the little stream at the bottom of the dam that connects the twin lakes. Caught some panfish here last year. Also saw catfish. So um, it's gonna go on a little detour. Maybe that guy will clear out by the time we come up. Don't wanna steal his thunder. Oh man, I feel like I could lose my EP over here. I don't have any live bait. I think I caught everything on live bait last time. Got it back. Thank goodness. Stay with me, EP. Oh, something bit at it. There's a fish. A little sunny. Bluegill. I feel like I haven't caught a bluegill in a while. Nice specimen. Nice little bluegill. Let's see what else we got down there. Another one. What do we got? Bigger bluegill. Bigger bluegill. Nice, healthy looking 
bluegill there. Not too dark, but definitely got those summer colors going. Okay, now we're really in the dark over here. Fish. Pumpkin seed. Just gonna bring him out to the light so you can see it. Ooh, barely got him. Another beautiful specimen here. It's cool that the uh, the EP series is whacking them here because I feel like this is this is really some uh, EPF style fishing I'm doing today. Making Leo proud. Okay. Our other fishermen cleared out. So, uh, it's game on here. Okay, we're just gonna keep going with this EP series. I'm feeling it today. Alright, here's a good place to cast. Now, of course, you're not gonna be casting into this mess here, but like right along the edges, because they're probably hiding there. It's an ambush point waiting for something enticing to come by. So let's see if we can scare anybody out of the weeds here. Fish, fish. Bass, nice, not a bad bass for this place. You know, I gotta be careful. Come on. Whoa. Keep it taut, keep it taut. Okay. Well, that right there, pound and a half, maybe a little more, but that right there, is definitely gonna be my best fish for mountain lakes. Multi-species, that's our fourth species too. Nice one. Not a bad fish, beautiful fish actually. Okay, well, EP series. Let's let them go nice and, whoa. Nice and easy. Just like that. Okay, there be life. Well guys, I'm gonna keep going a little bit here with the gulp, but uh, other than that, hey, I beat my expectations today. I beat my PB for this particular location for sure. Had a good multi-species day. We got two bluegills, a pumpkin seed, a crappie, and a largemouth bass. Can't complain. Now, as for the end of the summer, I might still take a small trip or two before my, my work year starts. I really do want to finish the summer strong even though, you know, it's starting to get a little monotonous, but that's okay. Uh, we're almost there. We're going to, uh, we're going to make it. So anyway, I hope you like what you saw. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace.